fires, floods, tornadoes, Mother Nature has not been kind to homeowners this year. And many are finding out after a disaster they don't have enough insurance coverage. The I-Team's Courtney Garris discovered Wisconsin ranked high when it comes to the number of U.S. homes that are underprotected. Carol and George, 60% of U.S. homes are underinsured, meaning even if you settle a claim, you could be tens of thousands of dollars short if you have to rebuild. Experts say homeowners should dust off their policies and start asking some questions. Last summer, as water was pouring into people's homes in southeast Wisconsin, Lynn and Joe Tyson were out of town. There was flooding in the yard but it, we were up on a hill, so we thought we were okay. When they got back, it looked like their Burlington home had weathered the flood until they tried to open a door to get inside. We couldn't open it. Then they noticed the sidewalk. Different uh, chunks of concrete there were tipped up. We saw that it had separated away from the garage, separated away from the house. Water soaked the rug in the basement, left them with mold and... And we've got cracks and we've got gaps shifted their foundation. That's two and a quarter inches. The Tysons are just outside the floodplain and have never had problems before, so they only have a homeowner's policy. I, like a lot of people, thought that insurance would cover something. Turns out, no. They know things could have been much worse. The Tyson sump pump didn't give out. They discovered if it had, coverage for sump pump failure is an add-on policy. Homeowners need to know what they have purchased what is covered. Almost 60% of U.S. homes are underinsured, according to a California-based data and analytics company. They don't have the coverage they thought they had. CoreLogic's Susan Williams says if you're underinsured by less than 20%, your carrier will usually make up the difference. But if it's more and your home is destroyed in a disaster, the cost to a homeowner to rebuild can be massive. They would actually end up being responsible for the amount that um, they were underinsured by. If it costs 300000 to rebuild your home, but your coverage is only for 237000 that $63,000 difference would have to be paid out of pocket. Williams advises consumers make sure their policy is based on a reconstruction cost estimate, not market value. You actually know what it's going to cost to rebuild the home in case of a total loss. Wisconsin is in the top 20 when it comes to the number of homes underinsured by more than 20 percent. West Virginia ranks number one. This is our playroom for the grandkids. As soon as the damage to their home is fixed, the Tysons plan to take a hard look at their insurance policy. What exactly do we have? What can I get that will help us in the future? The Tysons' total cost to fix the damage was around 20000 They borrowed money from their life insurance to pay it down and also got a small grant from the community. But I just learned today the 10000 they were still on the hook for has been covered. A check from the Burlington Community Fund and Love, Inc. just came in the mail, so they consider themselves very lucky. One note here, CoreLogic told us being underinsured can impact any claim a homeowner makes. It doesn't just have to apply to a total loss. So, so Courtney, how can people make sure that they have... They, they have enough coverage to, in case there's something happening. Well, there are a couple easy things you can do right now. Make sure your policy is based on a reconstruction cost estimate, not your home's market value or your current mortgage. If you've had the same policy for years, it is recommended that you update the estimate. Also be sure uh, to update your policy if you've added onto the home or if you've made any upgrades to the house. Good advice. Okay, thank you, Courtney.